guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Tatiana money and i'm back with another video so i'm leaving the post office right now as y'all can see I had to drop off some packages i'm moving too much but i'm trying to catch the right leg y'all know how that go just dropped off some packages um right now i'm also waiting on a friend of mine I, we got another PlayStation in the mail and she wanted to get it for her little brother. So I'm waiting to see what she say um, so that I can meet up with her and bring her that PlayStation. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I'm about to go to the thrift store and um, yeah, I wanted to go to the events today, but since I'm kind of like have like kind of like stuff to do today and I really need to catch up on some stuff from this past week of just being busy and I'm about to be busy this weekend um, I'm just gonna go to the family thrift out here because it's closer and yeah I don't got time to just be digging all day not not right now not today um but right now I'm really like cracking down on myself like really going like being hard on myself about being more selective in the thrift store um because i'm I just have a bad habit of just i don't know like i grab things that are gonna sell but they're gonna sit you know what i'm saying they may sit uh it's, it's a chance that they may sit and that right there is something that i'm really trying to get you know out of the habit of course you don't really know some stuff you might think is gonna sell the day you post it and then end up sitting for a month or something you just never know but i definitely want to be more intentional with what i'm bringing with me especially now that um you know especially with limited space right now like i can't just keep grabbing things because i just want it and just because oh it's cute and it's gonna somebody's gonna like it it'll sell one no like it has to sell i need more quick flips so I'm really like cracking down on myself about that. And um, so I'm gonna try my best. Even if I don't come out of, the, even if I only come out of that thrift store with three things or five things, like it needs to be things that at least I think could be quick flips, even if they end up not being, cause I technically don't really know. But you know, all in all, just being very selective with what I bring home. So that's something that um yeah i'm gonna be working on moving forward like i've been said that but like i still end up going in there and doing that you know of course i'm still gonna always be the type of person to pick up things that i feel is unique or um you know different because i just love stuff like that in general that's always gonna be something that goes along with my reselling business i like to have things that stand out but um as far as brands and styles and stuff i need to be more selective so that is what I will be doing. Um, what else did I want to say to y'all? I think that was really like the main thing I wanted to get up. Oh, I just wanted to shout out um, the three people on YouTube who I watch the most, most, and the three people who really have, um, really are. I want to say my reason because I just this is my business and you know as I watch a lot of people, um, but they have really I guess like inspired me or whatever to 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 pick better to source better to go harder to just be better in my business to get better results and the first one would of course be gloria be a glow the second one would be mckenzie and her youtube name is mcthrifty if i said that right <laughs> but i know her name is mckenzie and then the third one is jack and ryan so technically that's four people jack and ryan are just the couple that i watch and they're together but those four people have really inspired me so shout out to them if you went to reselling and you don't watch any of those three you definitely should check them out so anyways let me head to the store store i did enough talking but that needed to be said Y'all, I need this bag for myself to ship my order. So, 
a nice size tote. Yes. Okay, y'all. This is what my cart is looking like. Uh, pretty happy with what I got. So, I'll definitely be showing y'all. All right, y'all. This is what I got. Three full bags, and I spent sixty-four forty-one. Definitely thought I was gonna spend more than that, so I'm happy. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. My freaking back is killing me. My back hurts. I don't even know if I'm gonna do the haul today or tomorrow. So stay tuned to see. Cause I don't know. Okay, you guys, I'm home now, and I can show y'all all the stuff that I got. I got three big bags of stuff, as y'all can see in the thumbnail, three full bags that I spent $64 on. If this was at the bins, I don't know how many pounds this would have been, because these bags are heavy. So, I'm going to try to go through this as fast as possible, because if I don't, it's really no telling how long this video will be. Okay? It's a lot, y'all. But I definitely did try to source a lot better. So, I've tried. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let me hurry up. Um, this is probably the biggest haul that I've ever did so far on my channel. So, that just gives y'all a head up, heads up. And I don't want this video to be too, 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 too long. Okay talk for no reason anyways okay so we have these adidas men's adidas pants they say adidas down on the size side and these are actually really big these are four x but those bigger size things really sell you know because i'm sure they look for a lot of clothes online but yeah these are cool and in good condition lord Okay, and these are some women's sweatpants. They are just some um, from pink. And they say love pink down the side. Gray sweatpants, size large. I really feel like these are size extra large, to be honest. They just, they're just huge. Like, and I wear larges, extra larges. So, I feel like this is more extra large. Okay, then we have this sweater right here. And also probably about four or five things that i actually didn't look up comps in this in these piles um but most of the stuff i did that's another thing that i'm working on as well this one i couldn't find it anywhere hero made in england but i just felt like this was just so nice gave like vintage like sweater i mean christmas holiday type sweater so that was cute okay and um, this right here is, uh, it's totes, totes, uh, Landbreaker, but it's like that one where you, uh, <laughs> this totes jacket, Windbreaker type jacket, that's pretty cute, so I like that, okay, and then we have this Lucky Brand extra large shirt with that little, I don't even know how to describe it, but y'all know what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. But yes, <laughs> this is the top. Thought that was pretty cute. Casual and cute. Okay, what is this? Oh, okay, this is a LL Bean um, turtleneck type sweater. It's in really good condition. LL Bean feels really well for me. Um, yeah. As long as you don't get something like too, too boring for the most part, I feel like with LLB, it'll sell. Okay, and I checked comps on this. This jacket was, this is doing pretty good. The one that I did see though, it had the, the knit was um, like a cream color, but it's Covington. And it's like a denim thing, but the sleeves in the back are that um, like rib knit or whatever. Oof, it's some strong perfume on that jacket. <laughs> okay, uh, can't go wrong with some cute little, you know, stuff. Like, like I said, uh, like city gear type stuff. So this one is a San Diego, California. Really, in really good condition. Pink uh, hoodie. Like, yeah. Okay, this is pretty, like, casual, boring but um 
yeah i still ended up getting it and it is a madewell just like sweater shirt sweater whatever little um you know slits on the sides okay then we have this lauren by ralph lauren yes lauren by ralph lauren sweater when i say how this is thick and heavy this i would have never gotten this at the bins but with the little neck it's in really good condition now love it okay then i got this little dkny just that was cute dkny crossbody bag and it just has like dkny in the inside it's in really good condition and i was like yep yeah. crossbody with the somewhat kind of thick strap pretty cute okay <laughs> Two more wallets, which I don't usually be getting wallets, but these two I was like, hmm, this seem pretty cool. So they this one they got like the car holder stuff, and then it also has the zip part, and it is by a new day. This one, you can see the print. So I thought that was a cool little wallet, and it's in good condition, like really no flaws on this okay let me make sure this girl not on her way while i'm recording my video okay okay and then this one which you just push down and open and it is by ann taylor loft or whatever but it was just in really good condition as well like i was like this is cute it's a really cute wallet and then you like press it down open it and yeah all right, that's bag number one. Bag number two. Okay, so they had like a lot of like jackets and sweaters and stuff today. So I was really excited about that. Now I see, I spent, I already showed y'all, I spent $64.41. Which honestly, I honestly thought it was going to be way more than this. I have never walked out of there with three bags before. And it was a dollar seventy-five day. So yeah, I thought it was gonna be more than that, but I was wrong and that's fine. Okay, so I got this coat right here and it is um by Thermolite. Well, that's what it says. It says Thermolite on it. And um I looked at the comps on Poshmark for this and the the ooh, these coats are doing pretty well, if I can hold it up, it's like one of those like longer ones. Let's see. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Hopefully, I can see that. Okay. If not, let me see. Yeah, this is cute. Okay, just and then oh, here it is. I can't read it though. I was looking, I couldn't find the tag in the store. I don't know what it says though. No, it just says, that just says made in Taiwan. That's all that part says. So I guess the brand is Thermalite still. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look more into it. But what I did look on um, Hoshmark, it had really good reviews and stuff. And not reviews but um comps and it's the back like that uh it feels like a really good coat the sleeves yeah like if i lived up north yeah that would be a yes for me okay now this one uh i also didn't look up comps but i do know that the really good heavy duty jackets are just doing what they have to do so, oh my gosh, this thing is heavy duty. And I'm going to have to do my lint roller on it, but this is it right here. You see the inside like that quilted, and it's by Structure. It's a medium. It's heavy. You see? I wish I Okay, y'all see? Yeah, it's heavy duty. Yeah. 
y'all can see. Yeah. Now this is for me. This is just a bag that I'm going to use. I showed y'all earlier that I'm going to use to um, carry my packages to the post office. I have some Ikea bags, but those are really big. So whenever I don't need as big as the Ikea bags, but I still need, you know, like something with some size to it. I'll be using this one. It's so cute. I love it. Um, I don't know what brand is that? I don't even care. I just saw it. I was like, oh yes, I need that. Because I was already saying I need to go get me a um a good bag for carrying my stuff. Okay, so this is another heavy duty jacket and this is a leather jacket by Northern Glades. Um genuine le leather. Okay, and it has like that inside, you know. And, oh, y'all, it's heavy. You check it's heavy. This one has a hood. And, y'all see it? Yeah. Like I said, y'all be able to see pictures and stuff on, you know, like once it's uploaded and everything. So, yeah, really good quality um, leather jacket with the quilt, quilt to inside jacket, northern glass. So heavy. Okay. And this is just a Ralph Lauren Polo um, hoodie. Size. What size is this? I don't think. Size extra large. You know, the guys like a good regular daily Polo hoodie. It ain't too much going on on it. And it's in good condition. I don't see any flaws. So that's always good. Okay, now we have this button down um, Ralph Lauren, the style Blake, 100% cotton button down that I thought was pretty cute. So, yeah, like I said, the Ralph Lauren does pretty well with me for me. Now, this I really hope that these that I can get these stains out, y'all. Um, I haven't watched any of this stuff, so yeah. But this right here, what was it? What was the, did it say? Um, this I really wanted for myself. Oh, current what? The oh yeah, current scene. Yeah, made in Sri Lanka. Current scene. It has some stains on it, but it's so cute. I, I think it's me, if I'm not mistaken. But can you see that? Let's go back. Yes, it's so cute. Look at this. Look at this. I love a good patch. And the clumps on this was were like so good. I was like, oh my gosh. And then here's the back of it. Oh, this was just so cute to me. Current scene. We in the well when I looked it up, it just said current scene on there. And I saw something that was similar. Like it and those we're selling good okay y'all last bag last bag i don't know why i put that back there like that last bag please don't take too long y'all i hate when they put a knot in the bag this heavy now i'm about to break the bag oh well Last bag. You wanna know what to pull out of here first? Okay, these are some Levi jeans. Uh, Seven Eleven skinny size twenty seven. In good condition. I got the little, you know, bottoms. But yes, like those. Okay, and then I have this J Jill. Is that you? Yeah. J. Jill, like leaf flower type top. Really cute. What size is this? This is a size large, petite, large. Yeah, large, petite, stretch. So, yeah. Thought that was pretty cute. Okay, then we have these page jeans, size 27, Hawkston Ultra Skinny. 
these jeans. <laughs> these really can look like they can fit me, but I, I'm going to let them go. I'm going to let them go and go to a new little home. But, yeah. Okay. What is this? Okay. Okay, then we have this. And I did check on for this. It's like only the jean jackets with this brand were doing pretty good. This Bogle Boy Classic. Like most of the stuff with that brand was like really cheap. Except for the blue jean jackets. The blue jean vintage jackets. So I'm assuming this is... I don't know y'all. I gotta get better with normal. Like what's vintage and what's not. But this... Blue jean jacket, really good condition. Um, heavy. Hopefully, it's so on Poshmark for that. Mm. <laughs> so that shipper label can cover that. Okay, and this is a brand that I've never seen before, but I looked up, looked it up, and the comps were really good for it. Jaslyn. Jocelyn Smith, and this is a leather jacket. Well, you know, that's like the inside, but like this leather red jacket. This is pretty nice, really good quality. And yeah, so that. Yes, and all these jackets had all the buttons and stuff. I was so happy about that. Okay, now these pants right here, um, Tracy Evans Limited. It's like some of the pants were doing good, but then some of them weren't, were not. And then, but the one, like the ones like this that were, like some were selling for twenty, but then you'll see some that wasn't selling for twenty. I don't know, but I just feel like somebody would really like these. See the bottoms, and they're just in really good condition, like no flaws or anything so i was like yeah and i think these are vintage i don't know but i know the ones who had retro in their title for these plaid pants with this brand were the ones that were selling for more so yeah these are pretty retro so that's what that will be under <laughs> okay this one right here is um uh, what is this Lane Bryant, which I know, um, well, I've heard people say like Lane Bryant, like, eh, you might sell something with them, but mm, it ain't nothing that people really pick up. But for me, I just feel like this was so cute and it was so like right now, like, you know, like right now, this, this, I feel like somebody would really like this right now. Um, maybe it's like the turtleneck. I think this is fire, honestly. See, that's the thing. It just don't be cold like that in Texas, man. Like, last winter, we had a little winter last winter, but it just don't be cold. Like, if, like, oof, I would wear this. I would, this would be mine. This would be so cute. Oof. I just think it's so cute. Can y'all see? Love it. I just, I don't know. Somebody got to like this. Somebody has to. Okay, now these jeans, which I just searched them because they just looked expensive when I picked them up. And they are so nice. And they're size 26. And they're the Elizabeth Solcer X Miss 60. So I know that um, there were some mix si Miss 60 jeans or whatever. And I'm guessing these Elizabeth ones maybe was a color. But I don't know don't don't come for me because i don't know but i know that these miss 60 jeans sell really well and look at this y'all they're so cute let me they're so cute i don't even know if y'all can really see like these are some nice quality jeans really nice quality jeans we got the rips at the knees like those good cute rips too like i don't know yeah so i'm excited to see how these gonna do because the comps was saying they was talking to me real nice okay 
and then this was another one where i didn't really check the comps but i feel like this is something vintage um it's only 20 percent wool and reference point i couldn't find anything reference point but whenever i did take a picture of this for google lens all the ones that look like this or they just say like vintage sweater and they sell for okay and they sell for a pretty decent price and again this is like winter right now um and it's in great condition uh yeah it is a size medium i feel like it's men's but then i feel like it's women's no i'm gonna look more into it but it's just really nice like okay and this is just one of those little sales one of those things that just sell for like 15 20 25 dollars um and this one's in good condition so hopefully i can get like 24 if not i'll take 15 it's fine um this just this pepsi hoodie if it was black i definitely would have bleached it but you see the like the letters like they're yeah so yeah and that's it it just had pepsi on it and it's in good condition with a little I know this hoodie is warm. Like, it got that material. I know this thing keeps you warm. Like, you got on a coat. And it's heavy. So, yeah. Okay. Look. Cute. I didn't even see that. Alright. And then, I have these men's extra large Adidas pants. Which is actually my brother and my boyfriend's size. And I love this olive green color. Y'all can see with the little button yeah cool cool little adidas pants adidas pants they say oh i don't like the way these i don't like the way these pants smell ew oh yeah it say adidas right there y'all these pants were like this pants might poop or something. Ew, I'm folding it. It's that top part, not the whole thing. The top part, that waistband, I'm folding that up for, for it until it go in the washer. That stinks. Ew. Can't wait to wash my hands. Okay, and this right here is just a little Wild Fable, like Target. What Target Wild Fable? Little sweatshirt, green olive green sweatshirt that says Portland. <laughs> My best friend's daughter's name, Portland. Cute. So I thought that was really cute. Size small. Okay. Ooh, yes. Okay. Now these pants right here, I also checked comes on and um. They were selling really well too, and but these just like stood out to me um, because of course they were different and they were just really cute. But um, it is can't wait. Let me read it. Carl Caney, uh, new to me. I don't know about it. Um, yeah. So these are the pants, but I y'all gotta see like the details. I was like, oh, it's so cute, and then fringe too. Sorry. Ooh. Okay, Carl Kenny. Show us what you're working with. And they don't have like those back pockets or whatever, but these are just so cute. Like they're just such a little vibe. Such a little vibe. Okay. And last but not least is this London Fog Limited Edition jacket i believe and y'all see the inside and it's like is this a i don't know if this is a trench i think it's a trench coat y'all i don't know but you see it it's pretty long got the pockets but it's in such good condition though i'm like oh my goodness like what like again if i lived up north this this is for me in the winter like look at this quality quality yes come through london fog all right y'all so that's everything for today's haul um 
yeah let me know how i did um give me any information on anything that you know that i don't know because a lot of those a lot of stuff was new for me but i feel like it'll be worth it and a lot of stuff i just checked the comp so hopefully everything is accurate and those things do well but other than that i want to thank y'all for watching this video and i'll see y'all in my next one bye you guys